In this video, we're going to take a look at the mobile app. We'll show you how you can write a report and finalize on the desktop. We're going to look at a few app settings before we dive in and a couple other options for you. First to note, this is your dashboard. From your dashboard, you will see any inspections for today. There is an all button at the bottom of your dashboard. That is to find any inspections from the previous day or the future days. And there is a new button at the bottom. That is to create a new inspection on the fly. Now, if you click the new button, it'll actually open up a web browser on your phone to your account on Spectora, where you can schedule an inspection. Be sure to pop back in to the mobile app if you ever schedule on the fly. Now, let's take a look at our settings. In the top left corner, we'll see a button with three horizontal lines. Click in there and find settings. A few app settings to know. Um, there is a flashlight button that'll open up the flashlight on your device. You can find that in the bottom right corner of your app screen when writing a report. There is an enable gallery camera option. These are for our CYA photos. If you take photos using this photo option, this will send the photo to a new album in your device so you can easily find them later. If we look down a little bit more, we have save frequency. That is the duration of when all of your data will get pushed from the app up to the web. You can do on demand or you can set it to different intervals, five, uh, 10, 15 minutes and so forth. If we scroll down a little bit, a couple photo settings, we have the enabled cameras. We do have a single shop and a rapid fire camera. So you can choose the one that you like better below that backup photos to gallery. This will save a copy of every photo you take in your report and put it in the same album with your CYA photos. Now let's jump back to our dashboard and we will click into our inspection for today. Now a quick tour of this inspection details page before we dive in. At the top, you can tap on the cover photo that is already there and take a new photo for your cover page for your report. On this page, you also see the date, the time, the price. You'll see your client or agent's information uh, to simply tap into and contact them on site if need be. A little below that, we have two orange boxes, payment required and agreements required. This indicates that the client has not taken care of either of those things yet, but you can click into both on site record payments and get the client to sign the agreement on the app. A little below that, we will see uh, a few additional questions. These are our custom scheduling fields and additional inspector notes. Anything you want to log during the scheduling process uh, can be sent down to your mobile app so you have that valuable information on site. These could be anything such as, will the client be attending? Is there a gate code? And so forth. Let's look at the bottom. We see our room by room residential template. That is how we start our report. So we see our list of sections to start. So this will mimic everything in your template. There are a few things you can do uh, regarding the organization. You can move them around. You could also slide your finger left on a section to duplicate or delete. And towards the bottom, there is also a plus section button. This is where you can add any optional sections or add in uh, another copy of any default section as well. All right, let's click into a section here. We'll start with inspection details. In here, we have your list of items. I have one item here called general. These will typically have my general informational comments. So clicking into general, I see my typical comments to start my report. Who was in attendance, uh, the occupancy of the house and so forth. We can take a look at some of these. You can simply check on the circles to log the proper information. These informational comments are completely customizable in your template as well. 
You will see some icons below each comment, such as to flag a comment, add locations, take photos, videos, and so forth. For any of these comments, you need to add a photo or video to. It'll open up your device's camera and attach that photo or that video directly to the comment. All right, let's go back. We look like we finished up our general item and it turned green. So we'll pop back into our list of sections and look into roof. Now we see our roof items, general coverings, roof drainage systems, and so forth. We can just start with the first item and then continue on our way down our informational comments. Once all of our informational comments are complete, we can back out and we can see the general item has turned green. Now let's take a look at some coverings. Again, all of these, all of these, these comments are customizable. Um, after you get through the informational comments, you will see your observations, another completely customizable list of your common defects you will find. These are all examples of our default templates that you will have to start with. You can click new observations at the bottom to add any new comments on site. You can simply type in a, a title of the comment and in your text box below, you can type in a description or use the talk to text feature on your device. There is a save option at the bottom. There is a save to template option at the top. So if you do create a comment on site and you wanna save it back to the template as a permanent comment moving forward, it gives you the option for that. All right, let's keep working through. Let's go into roof drainage systems. Again, we're working through our informational comments first, selecting the materials, and we moving down to our observations. You can click on any of these observations. We have a defect category button. You can toggle through different defect categories. You can also flag a comment, add a location tag to where you found this deficiency and so forth. And of course, our photos and video buttons you'll see the gallery buttons next to it where you can pull photos from your phone gallery as well. All right, let's take a quick photo of the laptop here, pretending like I'm taking a photo of a house. Once I snap the photo, we will see my annotation screen. I can just simply drag my finger down and draw my arrow. And I can see I have one photo now attached right to this comment take another look at one more item here going down the list popping into my observations changing up the defect category maybe I want to flag this item to make an edit back at home and that'll be my visual reminder and another quick photo There are icons at the bottom where I can change what I am drawing, such as arrows, circles, squares, and so forth. All right, we can back out all the way back to our main inspection details page, and we see a save option below. This will push all my data up to the web. You can also look at a summary of your defects and organize through defect comments. Um, as well with, the, with your different um, severity levels, just to show your client on site what you found, show them some pictures of what you found as well before you send them the full report. All right, now once we click save, that'll push all of our data up to the web. And then from there, we can see how it looks from the computer. So we'll pop there next and walk through that process. All right, now that I'm back at my computer, I'm on my web dashboard, so I can make any final edits to my report. I can click in the inspection under today. Of course, I can go down to my dashboard calendar, click into it from here as well. So let's pop in right below this reports box. We're going to see our report, edit, and view. Uh, let's pop into view first 
and we'll take a look at just a quick glance of what the client might see on this exact report. Of course, it shows us just a few bits of information that we just demonstrated on the app. I can see the total number of defects in each category. I have my first section inspection details and all of my comments. Looking at my roof, the rest of my informational comments, and my deficiencies in my photos. Now there are quick edit buttons from this report. I can simply hover my mouse over any comment and see an edit button, and that'll allow me to change anything on the fly as I'm looking at my report. Anything more detailed, we can click back to edit report. This will take us to the web editor. It is a similar layout to your template. We have our sections on the left, our items in the middle, and our comments on the right. So we're first looking at inspection details. We're looking at the general item, and we see all the information we've already selected on the mobile app. Let's say I pop into roof. I can see that there's an orange flag indicating this is there's a comment here that I had previously flagged. Um, so we'll get to that in a second. We can just review everything in our general item. Want to look down into coverings, the information there. My comment I made on the fly from the app. The rest of my deficiencies here with my annotated photos. From the web editor, I can add additional verbiage here, change the defect category, add location tags. Um, I can type in a location or click the pencil to um, select, let's call it second floor attic. And continue on with any other edits I might need to make here. I see the flashings item is orange. That's indicating I have a flagged comment here and I can see it just on the right with this flag. So now I can make the appropriate adjustment I wanted to make and then click the flag to remove it. Anything on the mobile app can also be done from the web editor as far as adding new comments on the fly adding new photos to any comment or videos, adding a recommended contractor so the client knows the right type of person to reach out to, to make a fix. And of course, a search bar. So I can search for any comment and quickly find it. Once that is taken care of, you can go back to the preview publish review the final report once again. When everything is done, I want to click my inspection details. This will take us back to the inspection details page on the web platform. And when I click publish all, that will finalize this inspection. That'll publish my report, basically log the inspection as complete and send the client my um, link to the client portal to review, to see their report and of course any of their other documents. Now if they haven't paid or signed yet, they'll get a notification to do that first. But from there, the client and the agent both receive their emails automatically once I click publish all and my job is done.